There's quite a few things to go over today regarding the RTX 50 series of graphics cards, but with that said, the things that are mentioned are pretty simple to cover and break down, so the video should not end up being that long. We also got an update regarding the new AMD CPUs, which are pretty mind-boggling, but the first article that we're going to be covering here is Pallet teasing the GeForce RTX 50 series graphics cards with a stunning new design. Really, this is just Pallet showing off cool new designs for the upcoming GeForce RTX 50 series GPUs, and and to be honest, the design does look pretty cool. It's nothing like super duper special or anything, but if, if it kind of looks like a PS5. If you ask me, it's kind of hard to make a graphics card like whatever any different. So the next article that we're going to be covering here is NVIDIA now owning 88% of the GPU market. I mean, NVIDIA is NVIDIA, dude. I really kind of feel like they're going to take over the uh, entire planet. So real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. In simple terms, dude, NVIDIA got to that point because of their, there you go, that's innovative. That's the word I was trying to think of. So next up is MSI showcasing the new flagship all-in-one PC that may end up coming with an RTX 5090. So I think this is pretty sick, dude, to see a computer already with a RTX 5090 and the front of that case is pretty sweet. I think that that's pretty neat looking. It's kind of like the, the height Y60 accessory that they got going on there with the, with the panel. But really, that's all I need to say about this. I'm, I'm guessing if the PC comes with an RTX 5090 in this thing, it's going to be a... Uh, the whatever, 15900K or whatever they end up calling the high-end CPU from Intel or whatever the 9950X 3D or whatever AMD's high-end CPU. So the next article that we're going to be covering here is the NVIDIA RTX 5090 expecting to offer a 40% performance uplift over its predecessor. Dude, it's really hard to like First of all, we're not going to ignore this because it's it's there is going to be that performance bump. But the 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 big question is where? Like where is that performance going to come? Like we're not going to be seeing a a 40 to 70% increase in in video games. Like we're not going to see that unless it has to do with path tracing, ray tracing or some whatever DLSS or something like that or like artificial intelligence, that's like where I think that 70% number is coming from. Because dude, I really don't think that the 5090 is going to be playing games at 4K, 700,000 or 700 FPS. Definitely imagine, can you imagine 700,000 FPS? But it's not, we're not going to be playing games at like 4K, 400 FPS. Because the, the 49, at least from... I have a 4090 and a 4900K, and as far as I'm concerned, dude, pretty much every game that I'm playing is 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 over 200 FPS at 4K, so we're not going to see a 70% increase at that, you know what I mean? And you got to remember, like, I have, like, four screens going on, I'm recording with OBS, like, I'm doing all this stuff, dude, and I'm still getting that, so I just can't see the 5090 being that, like, ridiculously good, but that's really what this article is is about and then there are charts with whatever showing you the whatever all this stuff do but you got you really have to take this with a grain of salt because these are never accurate they're never accurate and the reason they're never accurate is because it's always people over hyping and over exaggerating everything like i said the other day i literally nothing against any of these companies i totally understand you know why everybody does what they do this is not just like a youtuber thing where we all have to clickbait our videos and make clickable th titles and thumbnails and all that kind of stuff dude you don't hate the player you hate the game if you dislike this kind of stuff then find a different hobby to be interested in because quite frankly you're not going to avoid this there's no creator on youtube successful creator that does not make clickable titles and thumbnails it's, it's and it comes with marketing as well so nvidia is allegedly going to be launching the rtx 5080 before the rtx 5090 i do, i very 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 much 
do not agree with that. So this article is just about NVIDIA possibly releasing the RTX 5080 before the RTX 5090, which is going to give gamers a more affordable option with good performance. I do not see that this happening and I do not see this being true in the slightest amount. It just doesn't make sense. Nvidia has never done, at least as far as I'm concerned, Nvidia has never done that. Nvidia to launch the in 2024. The rest of the series is in 2025. Okay, so okay, there it is. So the Copilot 7 Kimi says it's not true. The 5080 should be released first. So the only way that I can see this being true is if the because there are dude it's so hard because it's like it's hard to know who's being like actually has these like inside sources and then who's just like spitting diarrhea out of their mouth you know what i mean it, it it's hard to like know who is like not just bsing all of us to get the views on their channel but there are some people saying that the 5090 is like and this is not like an exaggeration to hop on that freaking bandwagon of, oh, the 4090 and the 5090 and the 6090 is going to be whatever, three or four thousand dollars. Look, I'm not trying to like hop on this like price gouging bandwagon because, dude, quite frankly, the people that are and this is not intended to be disrespectful in the slightest amount and i fully understand everybody's perspective so i'm not saying that i agree with it and i'm also not saying this to be disrespectful okay but dude if you cannot afford a 4090 listen okay you do not deserve the right to complain about its price because you do not have one and you have not used one. The 4090, I don't care what any of you say, it absolutely is worth the money for it if you're using it for work. Dude, you don't need a 4090 to play video games. You are perfectly fine with a 4070 or a 4080. You don't need a 4090. So you're not, dude, complaining about the price of the highest end graphics card is just a joke. It's just a joke, dude. And look, I am not saying that I agree with, with us having to pay over $2,000 for a graphics card that MSRP which doesn't exist in 2024 is $500 less that I can see people getting frustrated with, but complaining about the highest end graphics card being expensive. What do you expect that to be? Anybody else hear these crickets? It is the highest end graphics card, the highest end. They're doing everything in their power to make it the best of the best, regardless of how much that costs. That is how they were able to bring the 4090 to us with the power that it is capable of giving us. They didn't care about how expensive it was going to cost. And that is not me hopping on a bandwagon of NVIDIA overpricing or overcharging. Because if it's over $3,000, dude, I'm still going to get it because it is an investment for me. It is an investment for me. If the 5090 is over $3,000, I know for a fact that I'm going to be able to sit here, record a 4K video, render out this 4K video in probably like 10 seconds, and then I can go move on to my other channel, render out this 10 minute 4K video in 10 seconds, move on to my third channel, same thing, and I can repeat this process across all five of my channels. It is worth it to me. It is an investment for me. But dude, I'm not using it to play friggin' video games. Yeah, the GF, so the RDNA 3.5 graphics to the open source Linux drivers. This is just them adding support for the new APU with better graphics to Linux, showing their commitment to the open source software. And then that second article with the Ryzen AI 9HX370, that is about the, whatever, the AI 9HX370 CPU, no idea why they named it something so confusing like that, performs almost as well as a higher end model while staying cool and quiet. And that is pretty cool because like to have it, this CPU just like whatever, it's its performance is basically the here. All right, so the approach is right. So this is the it. 
I literally have something stuck inside of my mouth right now. I don't know why I can't talk. So this right here, whatever. It's the freaking way. It's the CPU. It's so confusing the way they named it. Approaches this CPU performance, but it's just chilling in silent mode. So this just chilling is this at max. So I think that that's pretty cool. And artificial intelligence, dude, is going to improve the performance of a lot of stuff. With the 5080 and people saying the 5080 is going to come before the 5090, the only reason, the only way I can see that being possible is if that 5090 is actually going to be so expensive that people just can't afford it. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, dude, if it's over like five, I'm not, if it's over 5,000 bucks, I'm just going to be like, yeah, fuck that, dude. So it's just, that wouldn't be worth the investment for me. I would just be like, nah, dude, that's stupid. You know, I, I mean, I, I don't know, dude. I, because at the same time, man, like I, I build computers for a living and it just, it's pretty clear to me that there's a lot of people that, again, not being disrespectful, okay? But when somebody asks me to build them a four or $5,000 computer and then they tell me they don't have a car to come pick it up, look, I'm not going to say anything to them because I don't want to be mean or disrespectful. But dude, how about rather than buying a four or five thousand dollar computer from me, you buy a car. Just tossing it out there. So yeah, man, that's whatever. I get it that people are frustrated, but at the same time, you don't really deserve to complain because it's it's Nvidia. It's their business. And it is the highest end thing that they offer. It's literally the perfect. The, I know I use cars as an example, but it is because I like cars. And that is a good example of it. Honda has all these cheap cars that are like $20,000, $25,000 brand new. And then they have their Acura NSX, which is like $250,000. Hello. Anybody else hear the crickets, man? That is literally NVIDIA and all these other companies. Don't compare AMD to NVIDIA. Don't compare Intel to NVIDIA. Don't compare any of these companies to one another because they are their own company. They have the right. It is their company. It is their company, dude. They have the right to charge whatever they friggin' want. <laughs> just People just don't make sense to me. But I'm going to end the video because I'm going to keep talking. Peace.